Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. In my today's session, I'll be discussing about brain lateralization. What is the role of left brain and right brain? We will be discussing in our today's session. Basically, lateralization of brain function is the view that distant brain regions perform certain functions. For instance, it is believed that different brain areas are responsible. for controlling language formulating memories and making movements have you ever heard people say that there are many of the right brain versus left brain thinkers from books to television programs you have been probably heard the phrase mentioned numerous times or perhaps you have been taken an online test to determine whether you are right brained or left brained given the popularity of the idea of right brained and left brained thinkers it might surprise you to learn that this idea is just one of many myths about the brain basically left brain versus right brain dominance is related to that our left brain is more related to analytical things linear verbal factual and sequential and right brain is related to creative initiative artistic non verbal emotional musical and imaginative there are certain things which are more in uh, we do when we are using our right brain like colors like recognition regarding rhythms imagination synthesis and daydreaming and left brain as i have told you is more towards analysis logics list uh, if we are uh, talking about the numbers words lines so in that case we are using our left brain i have given you different examples in brain hemisphere as well you can see the things and you can relate it and you can also relate yourself that which are the activities and majority of the time which brain part you are using there is a shallot board basically uh, you can see on the screen that different numbers are tabulated and they are basically on the basis of random numbers shallot tables are the tables with randomly arranged characters usually numbers or letters used to check and develop the speed of their visual search in a specific order these tables were originally developed by the german psychotherapist walter schachtel later they began to be used in exercising for training peripheral visual perceptions which is useful de- for developing the speed reading skills as you can see that if i want to have a look that 7 12 24 22 it this is something they are randomized so in the classical form uh, uh, these tables are basically a square sheet of paper the width of a book which is divided into 20 identical squares each one of them contains small numbers from 1 till 25 there are various types of these tables they differ in characters sets sizes and colors one of the most important thing is that is such tables has some popular as kind of speed reading simulator the exercise is as follows that you need to position the table at the same distance at which you usually read the book then focus your eye on its center and without taking your eyes off the center start searching for all numbers in order using peripheral vision such exercises should not be very much about 10 per day is enough this exercise will be useful for adults and for children for example it's very healthy for school children to practice peripheral reading practices especially since the process resembles a game due to the fact that you can solve tables for a while including competing with the other people as well then if i talk about the traits which are related to the right brain person according to uh, the uh, basically the left brain the right brain dominance theory the right side of the brain is the best of expression and creative task uh, there are several abilities and popularities associated with the right side of the brain based on these a right thinker is good at recognizing faces creating music reading motions appreciating colors 
and expressing emotions then comes the basically uh, the right brain people are also called uh, what they are often described as we can say they are more emotional intuitive and creative they are often described doing well in their careers and they involve creative expressions and they are free thinking such as becoming an artist psychologist or writer basically the traits of left brain person is that the left side of brain is adept at certain task characteristics of left brain includes like language logics critical thinking numbers and reasoning so we can say that the left brain people are when people are more described as logical analytical and orderly and uh, the thing is that the theory suggests that people who are left brain dominant to do well in the careers and involve linear thinking maths and verbal information this includes careers such as accountant scientist or computer programmers so the theory of right brain versus left brain dominance is that according to the theory uh, of right brain or left brain dominance each side of brain controls different types of thinking as i have told you people additionally people are said to be prefer one type of thinking over the other for example a person who is left brain is often be more logical analytical and objective and a person who is right brain is said to be more intuitive thoughtful and subjective uh in psychology if i say that the theory is based on lateralization of brain function the brain contains two hemispheres as i have told you and each side communicate with each other via the corpus callosum the left hemisphere controls the muscles on the right side of the body while the right hemisphere controls those on the left that is why damage to the left side of the brain for example might have an effect on the right side of the brain uh as you can see over here that there is a multicolored task if i say that the colors originally are written but as you can see on the screen that the yellow is not yellow the blue is not blue but the thing is that as we have association with the colors rather than saying the same color as original we are just assuming that yellow will be always yellow and blue will be always blue and you can have a practice of it if you are having a best practice of it then you can only read the colors as they are not original whatever the yellow is written with the color you can recognize only if your brain function properly and you have a proper exercise for that then comes improving brain health whether you feel right brain or left brain whether you feel like you tend to be more of creative type or analytical type there are things that you can do to keep your mind sharp and your brain healthy get regular exercise research has found that the exercise has a protective effect on cognition and brain health as people age keep your mind active studies found that people who are mentally active and work in mentally challenging fields such as academics tend to have a better brain health socialize socialize support is an important psychological well being but it is also essential uh, to have a healthy brain particularly on your age eat a healthy diet the food you eat can also impact your brain's health and its function focus on eating a balanced diet focus primarily on fruits vegetables proteinous diet healthy fats and complex carbs and then get enough rest sleep is essential to brain health and mental functions so focused on getting enough rest each night practice health sleep habits and stick to a regular sleep sleep week schedules as well that is all from my side hopefully this video will help you and have a better brain lateralization knowledge that is all from my side thank you have a good day allah hafiz